What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, you have caught me in the middle of adding some not so exciting stuff to my park, but it is necessary. So that's why I'm kind of doing it somewhat on, somewhat off camera. Looks like we just interrupted that guy in his throw up, and now he is uh, going for a nice little sit down. One thing I noticed after the last episode when we built the lovely mousetrap is that this ride is fairly short um it goes pretty quick it's nice and condensed but it is fairly short um the overall ride time 43 seconds but if you look at the station it's kind of hard to see so let me go into uh i think this view will do it yeah see through rides we have way more cars than necessary and that's completely fine um there's no downside to that um, it's just a short ride. You can see as soon as they get there, or as soon as they get seated in that first car, there's a slight delay. They wait about a half a second and then they launch. Um, I wonder if we can actually see that in action. No, we can't because of the station type. Let me change that real quick and see if we can get a better view of that. Um, so as soon as they sit down, okay, so never mind. So they get the green light. You can actually see the light on the station change color. So this train could leave now. As soon as it turns green, that's when a car, or I guess in this case, a mouse car, could leave the station. So, yeah, so we are wasting a little bit of time. Uh, if we moved the entrance over here, it would help, like the very front part of the station. It would help a little bit, but not enough to really make it worth our while. So we're just not going to. Um, we're doing well enough. We have a good amount of money. We have already met our objective and then some, which just as a reminder is 1,000 guests, 600 park rating by the end of year four. We still have a year and a half to accomplish that and we have already met that goal. So I am not worried about that. Um, we do have some money though. And I'm thinking it is about time we added some sort of transport ride throughout our park. I don't know how expensive it's gonna be. Um, so this might be a, a multi-part project, depending on how long it takes. But I can't do the... Well, I could, but I'm not going to. I could do the chairlift, but I don't want to because I want it to be somewhat circular. I want it to have... I think the most number of stations you can do on a ride is three. Um, so I am considering opening up a good chunk of our park this episode... Uh, once we get this thing built, if we can, um, and having a station somewhere on this side of our park, possibly over here, this is a nice wide open flat section. That would be a good spot. Um, somewhere over here, um, somewhere kind of in this portion, uh, possibly along here, maybe there's a little strip, right? Well, actually, no, I'd have to delete quite a few of these trees, but Somewhere over here, so that's one in the bottom right, one on the far left, and then one kind of over in this area somewhere that kind of divides our park into, if you were to make a triangle over our park, it kind of, um, what am I trying to say? Kind of, it's equidistant. You can get to a, a station platform wherever you're at. So let's look at both of these. So the miniature railroad a narrow gauge railroad track with miniature passenger trains. We've already seen this in, um, what was it? Diamond Heights. There was one that was pre-built. Uh, and it's a stream steam train. And I believe that's the only option. I don't believe there's any other types of train you can do. The monorail, um, is a, the track is a box section of steel rail. Uh, supported on square section steel posts. Trains are powered and run along the top of the rail with additional wheels either side for stability. This one, you can have a lot of cool different car types. Uh, and some of which can be a like a speed, not quite of like a bullet train design, but they can go pretty quick. And I'm thinking I want to do one of these just because it's new. Um, we haven't built something new in this park i don't believe as far as like a ride goes everything we built here has been done before uh so we're gonna build one of these no that's not true we built this 
but you guys have seen that before. That's okay. Okay, we're going to build one of these. Um, and I think I want to start it right here. Why not? Uh, and we are going to do a full 12 station platforms at each at each one we do. And so this is going to be interesting and possibly very expensive. Um, and when I say very expensive, I mean it. Uh, just because this is going to be such a massive endeavor. Uh, it does look pretty awesome, though, if you, in my opinion. Uh, I was going to say, if you do ask me, but... Uh, okay, we'll keep that tree intact. And does this work out perfectly in line? It does. Awesome. Um, and you'll notice I'm not going to do too much just looping around and doing fun stuff. This is a transport ride. The goal is to get from point A to point B. However, going underground, going above or through or near rides, uh, I don't know if going above walkways has any effect on excitement, but we're basically trying to get from point A to B, not as quick as possible, but kind of. Um, I'm thinking I want to take it over to this section right here, drop it underground, underneath this walkway because i don't really want to mar that with the or mar the beauty of this with something ugly like a monorail uh, i come back up over here and have another station right here i don't know if i can fit 12 right here though let me check real quick so i'll need to go up for one two and then i can do one two three i think there's another four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then i can go back underground I'll probably have to go back underground to just clear all that. So that'll work. Okay, so that's that's where we are headed. So let me just try to get there now. And this is actually working out pretty well. I, I'm glad this worked out height-wise to run right on the ground here. So uh, we are going to do a little bit of just kind of snaking back and forth. Can I avoid that? Nope. Again, I'm trying to demolish as few trees as possible. That will always be my goal, pretty much any build I ever do. Um, I just think the natural look of everything is is nice. Uh, we'll go one more, and then we can do that. No. There we go. I had it right the first time. And we'll go back down to eight over this here. Actually, I don't think we need to go that low. We need a little height to clear this hill. Uh, and this is a good kind of ride just to fill space. Um, I mentioned last episode, I believe it was, that I wanted to kind of find that, that happy medium of not too crowded, um, still spacing things out, but... Hold on, I'm trying to find where I need to line this up. I think that lines up with here, this right side. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to, this could be horribly off. Um, that's okay though. Um, so yeah, I wanted to space everything out just enough to where it felt not crowded, but not sparse either. Um, dang it. Gotta go down one, one earlier. Not crowded, not sparse. I want it to feel like a busy amusement park or theme park but i also want to utilize as much of this park as i can we've already met our objectives so i'm i'm pretty much going for actually i can do some some weaving down here why not It'd be kind of cool no one can see it but it takes up space and i can't even see that if i go to the see-through scenery yeah i like that Okay, and then we need to start coming up. I don't quite know when. Oh, man, we are like... So this thing, normally this uh, ground level is at 6. For most rides, we'd be able to clear this at 4. However, actually, we might be able to. Yeah, so we can still do this at 4. Um, okay, and this is where we start modifying the land a little bit. And there are times, like right now, where I don't want to make this look natural. I want this to make it look like it was just cut through this hill right here. 
Uh, so we're not going to be underground anymore. We want to level back out at six. So right here, I'm literally just going to level all of this just straight through this hill here. Um, I don't always go for that look. I usually actually try to keep it good looking as you guys have hopefully seen or hopefully it's good looking so far. Uh, and then we're going to start the station right here. We might as well. And this is going to be annoying. So two. I don't know why I'm bothering counting these. I feel like I was saying something, but I didn't finish my thought. Not the first time that would have happened. Oh, boy. Uh, so this is going to start even one back from that. We need this to be as... 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Uh, if I do this... Can I get high enough to clear the path? I cannot. Um, what did I say I was going to have to do? Go back underground here? That might be what we have to do. That's okay. Actually, that's that's perfect. That's originally what I wanted to do. Actually, we'll, we'll keep this at four. Just because we don't need to go any lower than that. Uh, and then... Okay, I said this was going to be really expensive. We're making money just as fast as we're building this thing. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, but this is going to be... A long, long, long ride. And I'm going to try to set it to where I have three trains at each station. Um, or not at each station, but three trains total. So we'll do an S-bend to the right. That's the only special stuff you can do here. I'll do two S-bends to the right. And then I don't want this to be underground. I want this to be visible in our park. So as much as I can, I'm going to keep it above ground. I just had to go underground for some physical, or I guess geographical limitations we had. So, okay, get rid of that. And I need to make sure I'm doing, um, not that. As we go, again, not that. This tool. There we go. I don't care about money at this point pretty much, so I'm just gonna fix all of our fix all of our ugly. Uh, that's where we came out. This is where we went down. Yeah, that's two hundred fifty dollars per per click here. That's okay though. I definitely don't need to be doing that big, but that's okay. And then were there any other I think that was the only time we went underground. Okay. Uh, where were we at? Up here, right? Yeah, okay. So, this will go... What if I go through? Well, I don't know. We'll get there when we get there. How's that sound? I think it sounds great, but... <laughs> okay, so that'll be at 10 or 11, technically. Not technically, 11. Uh, so, we'll be able to clear most of this stuff. At least the... Uh, Nope. Oh my gosh. Oh, again. How many people died? Yellow Belly has crashed. 12 people have died in an accident on Yellow Belly. Wow, and the mechanics just now fixing it. With not a care in the world. He's just radioing that the job's done, not that we lost lives. Oh, man. I don't care how many times it happens. It always just... Oh, it bothers me when a ride breaks. I hate when guests die. It's... I know it's a game, but still, it it just puts a damper on my mood. Um, no one's going to go on that for a little while. We're going to drop the price on that just to... Not that that is any... Not that that's going to rectify anything. Um... We will definitely... I plan on building a memorial. I never did this when I was a kid, but... I think I'm going to build a memorial every time. Actually, while it's closed. While this thing is closed. Let's change it up. Um, we'll do... Rocket cars. Why not? And we need to repaint that. What did we have them? No, we had them all different... 
yellow, and I think I had white seats or black seats. I don't remember. Man. It bothers me. White. There we go. So if my thought process is frazzled from here on out, that is our reasoning. This lovely accident that just happened. Yeah, you can see our, our guests are declining as that accident occurred. Our park rating is also taking a massive plunge uh, because of that incident. We went from... I actually don't know what it was. I think we were in the 900s, and we just dropped to just shy of 800. So... Um, high, high, medium. That's good. We changed the uh, car types. That's why I had to re retest. Okay, people are riding it again. Oh, man. Um, what was I checking? Station brake failure. I need to really start doing that. I need to just add separate brakes before the station. At least one piece. It, you don't need a ton. You just need one brake. Um... To avoid something like that. Is anyone riding this thing? Some people. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna try to uh, up, up my mood. I, I can hear it in my voice. I'm not crazy happy right now just because of that incident. Uh, but I will try to get back in my, my positive mood. So let us continue with our railway here. Um, this is... This is pretty massive. Ooh, and I just had... Well, no, that water slide might be in our way. I just had a kind of cool, cool idea for where the station can go. So, uh, we will dip back down just for effect. Even though it is a transport ride, I don't want it to be all just one height. You know, just leveling the land to get through where we need. I want it to... To be somewhat fun. And I think this will... I think this will be good. I'm I'm very pleased with the, how this has come out so far. So let us hope we can continue that level of satisfaction. Okay, uh, we'll S bend left just to avoid demoing any more trees than necessary. Uh, we'll go straight one more just for the sake of symmetry, and then S bend to the right again, and this will make our way over here um i want to do something real quick this is not how the ride's gonna go um so that's at 12 so i need to get this up to 12 for what i'm planning on doing here uh so we went straight here and we'll go up one and i want to do our station right here actually um in the air i think that looks kind of cool um except for right there maybe i can change something so that doesn't clip through the sidewalk um because again i don't like that clipping and how shall we connect this i think we'll go through these trees back over the water here kind of oh maybe we can run it kind of along the water that'd be kind of cool um yeah we'll follow the water back around or maybe we'll stop here, cut through these trees. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, sorry, I kind of have to... With a build of this size, I kind of have to get a an idea of where I'm going. We'll delete that one. We'll bring this down to 8, I think. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we're going to try and try to get through here. Um, that's going to be difficult. But, well, it won't be, but... Without destroying everything in sight. Ooh. Just kidding. That wasn't difficult at all. I was I was a pro right there. That was a, a pro pro building move. Can I S bend to the right? Oh look at that. I'm dodging and weaving through all these trees. And we'll dip this a little bit. I think eight looks good in this water right here. We'll do another S bend right. And then this is gonna follow the waterway. I think that's kind of kind of a cool cool design. And then we got a little rain as well. 
I love the rain in this game. Today, actually, in real life, uh, has been sort of a, a muggy, kind of rainy day. Um, I think it has to do with Hurricane Henry, I believe it's called. Um, that hit, I believe it was uh, Port Aransas, Texas. Uh, which is kind of creepy because, I'm well, not creepy. It, it's not like I was there a couple days before it hit, like some horror stories you hear about natural disasters. Uh, but I was there, uh, when was it? Senior year for a spring break. My roommate and, or both my roommates, one of my roommate's girlfriends uh, and another buddy of ours, we went to Port Aransas for spring break. And it was a lot of fun. Actually, it was really boring, but we made it fun. Um, and that's always the best kind of fun, in my opinion, is when you have to make it yourself. Some things are naturally fun. Others, like we were expecting a spring break environment. We were college kids. It wasn't at all that. It There was no one there. It rained the entire time. But we made it fun, and that's what counts. So, um, Okay, but yeah, I hope everything is... I hope no one uh, was too affected by the storm, by the hurricane. Um, I haven't really watched the news too much. I read a couple articles last night while I was at work, uh, and I, I read that there were winds of up to 130 miles an hour, uh, which is just absurd. Uh, imagine traveling in a car that fast. Like, that's the only thing I can really equate to that. I've been about 120 in a car before, and oh my goodness, is that fast. Um, and just imagine getting hit by a force of that magnitude I can't I, I can't imagine it but my thoughts go out to anyone who was affected by that so okay so back to this um, we have small monorail cars which are these kind of I was about to say gondola looking things I don't really know what you would call those um, and then we also have the large monorail trail let's look at the capacity real quick so currently we have four trains. I wanted to do three, but that doesn't add any more cars per train. So we'll keep it at four. Four cars per train. Or sorry, four trains, five cars per train. So that is five cars per train, four passengers per car, 20 people per train times four is 80 people total. The large monorail, I can get... I, want, I said I wanted a minimum of three. I don't even know if I'll be able to get that. Okay, four cars per train. That's 40 times... Why is it five or ten? I guess if I wait for full or half load. I'm trying to read these. Five or... And three trains. That's 120. So this is definitely the higher capacity option. So we're going to do that. Um, one thing I just realized I didn't do... We need to build three entrances and three exits. <laughs> this is our first ride, I think, that we built that has multiple entrances and exits. And I want to make sure our lines are long enough to hold about 40 people each because I don't want people... This is going to be kind of a long queue time, uh, which is the amount of time someone has to wait in line before they can get on the ride. Uh, it's going to be a long queue time and I want to make sure that no one is going to be too upset with how long they're having to wait. Is there a tree right there? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I want to make sure that these walkways are long enough. What Did our mechanic just go on the grass? Yeah, he did. I will fix that. There we go. Um, so I want to make sure our lines are long enough that we have at least 40 people in them, but not much more than 40 because that 41st person is going to be waiting quite a while before he can get on. So I don't know why I keep getting out of the footpath tool. We keep needing it. Um, and we need to build the last entrance and exit. You can de see it defaults to station one, which is that first one I built. Uh, man, this thing is so massive. I'm forgetting <laughs> where I put things. Um, this is quite the project. This has taken this entire episode, and we still have to open up our park to get them here. 
so because we don't want people just wandering about or exiting into a portion of our park that we don't have open I will aware I keep exiting out of that footpath tool far more than necessary so please forgive me uh, we will do that should be long enough if we go back here I hope all right guys I hope you are ready for our our debut of oh my goodness this is so far away our debut of actually let's let's finish painting it and all that first um, I think our water slide is this exact same color so we'll do something different than that I want to do something different I I feel like I'm sticking to the same color schemes I know there's not that many in existence but that is a very ugly support I want to do something that's not overwhelming, um, but also looks cool. Uh, what if we do a gray on that? What if we swap those? Do black here and gray on the bottom? Or gray on the top, black on the bottom? I think I like that better. The support color. I want to have some color to this. I don't want it to be black and gray. And um, What if we just do white? That's not a color. I just totally contradicted myself. Um, <laughs> this pink's going to be way too bright. Yeah. Maybe we are going to have to do... I don't mind this purple. I thought it kind of looked good. We'll, we'll stick with that. Uh, and then the color scheme, we'll do different colors per train, because there's three of them. I want to know which one's which. Um, we'll do one solid black with a white stripe. And again, the windows are always going to be blue. We'll do this one white with a black stripe. And we'll make train three. Actually, we'll do train two as purple with a white stripe. And what was the one we just replaced? The white with a black stripe. Okay. Um, I like spacing them out so that way when they're all lined up like this, they're, they still look good. You've got, it's not the white, the black, and then the purple. It kind of, the colors look a little different. So, um, I would like to have longer trains than that, but I like having three and I want to have three because it'll keep the lines moving longer or faster, but uh, and this thing needs a name. Um, there I go again, spinning my view instead of doing this. And that kind of blends in. It's not too unsightly, which I kind of like. I didn't want it to be too prominent. It is just a kind of scenic viewing ride after all. Um, what should we name this thing? If you guys have suggestions as always let me know but in the meantime we already did an evergreen scene that would have kind of been a good name for this um sorry i'm thinking of other names right now greenery express because this thing actually moves pretty quick i don't know if you can adjust how fast it goes no you can't but and we'll check leave if another train arrives because these things hold 40 people each. I think we'll be okay. Okay. Let us go ahead and test this. We're going to follow this first train all the way around.
that we've made it to station one with or station two with no issues. Let's see how it makes its way to station three. So far so good, last stretch, here we go. Alright guys, I think that is pretty awesome. That's going to do it for this episode. Um, we are in March of year four. We have one year left. Uh, I know this episode is getting kind of long and I, I'm fully aware I have not opened all the walkways yet, but we will do that first thing next episode to make sure that everyone can get where they need to go. Uh, no way anyone's riding this for a dollar. Um, but one thing I needed to do just so I keep my promise is expand our park by one tile. There we go. We have expanded our park for this episode. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>